You are there somebody healed of heart palpitation. There are someone with a heart condition, you are healed in Jesus' name. There are someone with a back pain, you are healed in Jesus' name. Miracles are happening everywhere. There is someone here who did, I don't know, what you did something in China and you are sick, acupuncture, whatever, you are not healed, but you are healed now. God said to me clearly, you are healed. How you know you are the one? You couldn't get healed in China, but God healed you now. In the name of Jesus. Vow to give you back the glory. Miracles are happening everywhere. I don't need to call your case. There's one that he's, his name is Jesus. He's everywhere, whether you are watching on the internet, is there where you are. Walk out if you're in any of the churches. If you know you are healed, walk out and then give the glory to God. The miracle is yours, but the testimony belongs to God. And we give you praise, mighty God. While I'm talking, somebody shot hand. Somebody shot hand green in the name of Jesus. Just rush out and let them have your testimonies. Come out to the front of the church and have people to take your testimony.
watching outside the country. You can't talk. You are in your hospital. Your voice is virtually closed. For the first time, tell the doctors to move that gadget. You will talk clearly. You are here. You are in the hospital watching at the point of death. You are hearing me clearly, but you can't talk. Now tell them you will talk. You will talk clearly. You are healed in Jesus' name. For some weeks now, you can't talk. For the first time, talk now. You people will hear you and you are healed. You are set for this service. I'm going to hit you where you are. Thank you, Jesus. And you took dead in Jesus' name. Everyone appointed to die, I declare you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall live in Jesus' name. Blessed be your name, mighty God, and Jesus' most wonderful name. There is a strange anointing in this service, not only for healing. That business crawling, the same Holy Spirit does not only heal, it delivers. I know when God is at work, that situation not working. That business not working. The same power of the Holy Spirit. Bring something as a point of contact. There's a strange anointing in the service. Anything you have as a point of contact, bring it out. That business not working. No noise, just bring something out as a point of contact. If everywhere at the reach of my voice, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whose I have and whom I serve, I speak with authority in that name and I declare whatever is not working that you have lifted up as a point of contact. The power of the Holy Spirit make it work right now. Amen. That ministry crawling, that business crawling. If you know the name, just write the name on a piece of paper. There is an atmosphere for the miraculous in this service. The same God that is healing is touching that business, that situation in the name of Jesus. Wherever you have lifted any point of contact, I decree in the name of Jesus, situation must change. Amen. Lift it up to heaven and just tell him thank you. Wave it to him and tell him thank you. Thank you, mighty God. In the precious name of Jesus. Yes. Papa. You may be seated, church. This lady was attacked by armed robbers a year ago, precisely April. And they beat her legs, both legs. From that time, she has had severe pains. But particularly, she cannot step her foot on the ground. That it shocks her. But right now, as soon as the ministry was going on,
something hit her and the pain is gone. No more shock. She can match the ground well with both legs now. You, you couldn't do that? Do again what you couldn't do for one year. You heard what he said? He said, I'm reverse with the ledge. And from that time, she couldn't do that. Do again, no pain. No pain. No pain. If they are still alive, except I'm not sent, I command all of them dead. The only condition is if any of them is born again, then he's accepted. But if any of them is still alive as a robber, right with the same Holy Spirit that said to him, must be blind. I pronounce such robbers dead in the name of Jesus. I decree judgment from heaven to execute them this night. None of them sees tomorrow morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Pastor, this young man was playing football seven years ago and he sustained an injury on his right knee. He said since then he couldn't flex his knee, he couldn't bend his knee. But as the word of uh, knowledge came, came forth, he said the pain immediately left him and he can now do what he could not do before. For seven years? Do what he couldn't do for seven years. Something you know you find difficult to do. Come closer. You couldn't do that for seven years? Do it again. No pain. No pain. Come. Take the next testimony. What's she that? has a similar testimony. She, she said she has yes, still pain on her knee. She couldn't stand for five minutes. As the word of knowledge came forth, the pain left. She has been standing here while the worship has been going do on for more than five minutes. Do something you couldn't do before. No pain. Are we? Papa, there's a similar one here. Well, God for God the past three years, a footballer too, he was playing ball and he had an injury on his leg. He could not flex his knee joint. But now as the administrator came forth, as the world of Nigel came forth, he can move his leg, he can flex his now. No pains. No pains. While they are talking that someone, when you do like this, the bone sounds, you hear the bone. And the pain used to be very severe. Now do it, there will be no pain. While they were giving their testimony, if you do like this, you hear the bone. You hear the sound of the bone. Pop. And for some seconds, you won't move your leg. Now for the first time, do that leg. There will be no single pain. You are healed in Jesus' name. Are you all of you, God healed all of the three of you? Thank you, Jesus. He loves you. Can I keep this kind of bear? He has well bear here. Pastor. Yes, doctor. Pastor, for 18 good months, 18, 17 good years, this man has been unable to, he has not been able to use his right knee. He said he's a footballer. He was playing football 17 years ago. Um, um, a, a fellow footballer hit him on his right knee and the kneecap shifted. And since then, he's been undergoing massages, medical treatment, but to no avail. Pastor, he said while you, were, you gave a word of knowledge concerning someone who has a knee problem and could not flex his knee, he said he's been able to use, he was walking, but he, he can't walk very well. But to his greatest surprise, he was able to dance and the pain has do gone. You he's completely do made up. Years freely. No pain. No pain. No. For no the past pain. 17 years. For 17 I, years. Yes, I used to play ball very well. I play ball like uh, Lino Messi. That's why I love, <laughs> I love <laughs> that well, it. But since then, since then, I hate anything football. I don't he said he has football. hated football since I hate then. It because of. So uh, Satan stopped you 17 years ago. Maybe it would have been a Nigerian Messi. <laughs> but now would have heard his name and they put Messi inside. Yes. Amen. Eh? Then, okay, he plays more than Messi. Okay. In, your ta in his time, he said he played more than Messi. But injury stopped you from football. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Pastor. Pastor, when he does for one, he does for all. This young man came here with one month severe history of knee pain. 
He cannot walk. He cannot stand for long. But as the word of God came forth, the power of God touched him. Now he can stand. He you can, can stand, squat. And can he's not feeling the pain do. any longer. Will you give Jesus a big hand? Thank you, Jesus. Are you happy? Yes. Just take them quickly so that we can go Pastor, to Pastor, yes. there was a word of knowledge that came forth concerning a man with a heart problem. Pastor, this is the person. He said he's been having palpitation for for for. It's good months now. He said he has not been able to sleep at night. But yesterday, after the service yesterday, he got home. He was able to sleep. He slept very well and woke up very well. Usually, he takes a drug, less than 10, to sleep. Doctors prescribed for him and they made a diagnosis of enlarged heart. That is cardiomyopathy. But right now, he, can, he said he wanted to sleep for himself. Yes. Let us hold it so you don't take all our time. Pastor, I was, I was in coma by I, January 6th. About Stand leaving the house. Oh, that is I was leaving that is the house. I slumped down. After 12 or 8 to 12 hours, I saw myself in the hospital, live foot clinic, plugged in a life supporting machine, oxygen, other apparatus around me. And I woke up saw my chest swollen, every other thing, and they told me I had a heart attack. But yesterday, I came to see a friend, Pastor Wami. I left here yesterday, and I heard there was a program yesterday. Before then, I told him, I have a problem. I even thinking of committing suicide. He said, no, suicide will not solve the problem. I didn't open up to him. To tell him about the heart issue. I only told him I have heart issue. But pastor, lo and behold, I came back for this program and yesterday was my first time. He was not even aware I came for the program. I went back home. I got home room alumni by 10 o'clock. I slept without those drugs. I didn't want to come today, but I just want to be sure my case will be mentioned. And you mentioned it. A man with heart problem. You're healed. You touched me. Father, you touched me. You are the healer, no man takes the blood. Give him a new heart. If it cannot be repaired, it can be replaced. And the creative force of heaven. Complete new heart. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Go and see your daughter. You gave a word of knowledge when the others came out. You said while others were out, there is somebody who had been having this pain in his knee and he feels a sound whenever he walks. This is the young man. He, the pain has disappeared. The sounds have disappeared. He can now walk Will very you give freely. Jesus a big hand? You are not clapping for the king of kings. Pastor, Pastor boy, how are you? You okay now? You okay now? Hmm? You're free. So go and enjoy your life. Amen. Yes. Pastor, yes. there was a word of knowledge concerning someone with injection abscess. Pastor, she's the one. Yeah. 
Three weeks ago, she said she went to a private clinic at Rumokuta and she was given an injection in order to get her treatment. But she developed an injection abscess and she has since then had swelling with pains, intense pains. She's unable to sit down. But during the service today, as you made mention of it, she said she touched herself, went into the conference and dis discovered that the swelling had there, subsided. And the lady. pain is no more there. She's completely a, made whole. There's a lady. Before you came to service, you had a strange plague. I will be dissent in my language. Your body has been very offensive. You've taken antibiotics? No way. You've gone to doctors? No way. And that thing has made you repart yourself. Go to the confidence you have dried up. Yeah. You too knew that something left your body. It's a strange plague. What God is saying to me is not normal. You had an attack. There's no biotic or whatever would have healed you. It's only God who can heal you. And now you just got healed. You too knew something just dried up in your body. He said, what is happening? Go there and then immediately come and give God the praise. It happened, you too knew that something happened. It has deferred on medication. Rush out and give God the praise. He healed you. In the name of Jesus. Pastor. Yes. This is a pastor. He came from Delta State. Okay. For the past one month, he has not been able to see far. That is hypermetropia. Also, this lady, for the past five years, she couldn't see far. But right in this service, their eyes popped open. They can see. In fact, she can, can read from see there. Far. You can see far, sir. How far you couldn't see before? Give me the microphone. Like, how far you couldn't see before? Yeah, I, I couldn't see to, that, to, to the door precisely because even seeing makes me see double precisely. See people see double, double, yeah. Double. Now, can but you now see I can, yeah, I can see human being, not even like trees anymore. He's a pastor, so he's quoting scriptures for all. You can see clearly now. You're no longer seen as trees. Okay, give Jesus a big hand. He's a pastor, so he's giving us the pastoral anointing of healing. Amen. Pastor, you may, there was a word of knowledge concerning someone that has excruciating chest pain. This young man benefited from it. He has been having recurrent chest pain and has been going from hospital to no avail. But as the word of God came forth, the pain disappeared. He can breathe freely. No He's pain. Dead. Also, this young, this two other, these two benefited also from the healing wave of chest pain. They Give are made Jesus whole completely. You are the same Yesterday, today, forever Nobody is like you Hold it. Let's take the pregnant woman so we don't keep her standing. After Papa, this. Yes. you gave a word of knowledge about somebody having pain in her womb. She said she has been having pain in the womb for about a week. She came to church with it. But as the word of knowledge went forth, the power of God struck her and the pain completely disappeared. Pregnant lady, no more pain? No more pain, sir. You will deliver safely. Amen. How many minutes do you want? A pastor here, the wife, was pregnant. How many minutes? I think they said how many minutes? Five minutes. That pastor, his wife, he said five minutes. I say, okay, pastor, five minutes. You go to the hospital, five minutes. So how many minutes do you want? Five minutes. <laughs> the moment you get it, they prepare you five minutes. That shall be your testimony. In Jesus' name. Five. When you get there, five minutes. As they prepare you, five minutes. Papa, these other women also came with pain in their lower uh, abdomen. Uh, God, Five years, them. two weeks, God healed them all. We thank God. Pastor, yes. let's, let's. This, this lady here had an injection abscess four months ago. She went to a clinic, I mean a pharmacy, for injection, after which then she could not like feel her tie any longer. But as the word of God came forth, the power of God touched her. She can feel her tie. She can move freely with the tie. Will you no give pain any longer. Jesus a big hand. I say, surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel His mighty power and His grace, oh, His grace. I can feel. 
feel the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on its face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. For all that God has done, there are too many testimonies we can take. Too many. In there are thousands, we can take them not because they are not important. Time will not permit us to take them. So many from the satellite churches. Too many. I am not the doer. I would never propose to be the doer. He did everything. You are watching and we call it watching. Him do everything. Shall we lift our hands to the king of all kings? And give him back the glory and praise. Tell him, Lord, we give you the glory and praise. Lord, we thank you because you did it. Lift your voice and thank him. Tell him, I thank you. Tell him you love him and thank you. We thank you, mighty God. We celebrate your faithfulness. We adore you for doing it. Thank you, Father. You did it all. We celebrate you. In the name of Jesus. <laughs>